I'm Ruth Fitzsimons, Managing Director at Podfront UK, a joint venture between two of the world's biggest podcast networks, Stitcher and Wondery. Well, 2021 has been a hugely exciting time for the podcast industry. We've seen audiences grow throughout the pandemic and continue to listen as we now reopen. New formats have emerged around wellness and health and are performing strongly. And we've also seen major acquisitions in the industry. Over the last 12 months, Wondery was acquired by Amazon Music and Stitcher was acquired by SiriusXM. And all this has led to more investment into incredible podcasting talent and content, as you'll see later in the presentation. Well, we've also been growing at Podfront UK. Over the last 12 months, we've added exciting podcast networks such as NPR, National Public Radio, All Things Comedy and NBC increasing our reach with UK audiences by 33% and bringing a greater choice than ever of content to our partners. We're also working with more diverse range of brands than ever before, enabling trusted advertisers to reach UK audiences in our brand safe environment at scale. And we're enabling UK brands to reach international audiences in the US and Europe and beyond, where our global reach across our partners is 512 million listens a month. In the UK, according to the IAB, podcasting grew last year by 43%, making it the fastest growing digital advertising medium. And we felt that at Podfront UK. Already, we have surpassed all revenue generated in 2020, and we continue to see increased investment into our incredible podcasts. But we would be nothing without our engaging, immersive podcasts. And I think it's time to introduce you to some of our fantastic talent. Well, British Scandal launched earlier this year and was Wondery's first UK originated show. It quickly rose to number one on the Apple podcast charts and has continued to gain listeners with its mini series investigating major British scandals like the Perfumo scandal, the downfall of Barings Bank to Russian espionage. And we are delighted to be joined by its hosts, Alice Levine and Matt Ford. Hello. Hi guys. Thanks for having us. Well, to those who maybe haven't heard the show, could you just describe the format? Well, each <laughs> series, each series takes a different scandal in British history and one of us will narrate it and the other one will chip in. So the first one was about the murder of Alexander Litvinenko, mm -hmm. which Alice tells the story and I kind of occasionally go, oh my God, what? <laughs> and stuff like that. And then, really well, he does it so well. <laughs> and then over the course of four or five episodes, we're going to detail about uh, the story, how it unfolded, a whole load of stuff. You won't have remembered at the time. You'll have certainly forgotten even if you do remember it. Uh, and we just tell these incredible stories in detail. And in all their, you know, the gory detail, the silly bits, the serious bits. And we try and assess them and their legacy since. And they're produced in this incredible cinematic way that we sit in a kind of little box and record it. And then when you listen to it, they make it sound like a Hollywood film. Yeah, Matt's, oh my God, what, 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 what? They just put loads of echo on it, loads of SFX. It sounds, it sounds big. Yeah, all the, all of the stories that we've looked at so far are stories that people possibly had in their kind of peripheral vision. And we have this opportunity to, like Matt says, take a real deep dive, so. Yeah, because I think some of it, the ins and outs of those stories, you know the title, right? You know that Litvinenko was a, uh, he was murdered. There was linked to Russian spying and espionage. But I don't think we knew some of those crazy details, like, you know, when they were unsuccessful in actually assassinating him, that they went clubbing that night. That yeah. just seems so clothes, insane. Clothes shopping and clubbing, because <laughs> one moment was the polonium in the top pocket and they decided to go suit shopping, which is sort of the only activity you can't do when you've got polonium in your top pocket, <laughs> is, is take your jacket off and try on a new one. And then, yeah, the big night out in the, in the, in the club. Oh, yes, yeah. And the, the place had like these massive gold willy taps and <laughs> there was a massive gold dick in the middle of the um, dance floor. Um, that's not the detail people remember weirdly because no. no. that stays with you once you know it doesn't once it? you've heard it yeah. that's the yeah. one memory that you definitely have I'm, I'm really curious there's obviously a lot of raya sides a kind of wry look at history through this 
But some of these scandals are actually quite tragic, right? And mm. there's some of the people who've gotten caught up with this. And I was really moved about Christine Keeler and the Perfumo affair. Mm. You know, have you ever really changed your opinion on some of the people involved in those stories once you read a bit more about them? We talked about that one a lot, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, it's not that I changed my opinion on Christine Keeler. It's just that I appreciated more what she'd been through. I'd always felt for her. But when you hear the real detail, not just about the very violent things that she was subjected to, but just a lot of the casual misogyny that was around at the time and was certainly aimed at her direction. It just turns it away from, it, 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 in a way, what this, what's great about this series is people will have heard little bits about some of these stories. They'll know about Keeler and Profumo. They won't necessarily know the Russian angle. They won't know that she was assaulted and very badly treated by numerous men in her life. So it just... You're, you're, you're adding more colour, you're adding more detail for people. And that's even just to someone who then listens to it. The detail of it, I'd find absolutely incredible. And, and the way it's written, the way it's produced, just makes these stories. You have to be very aware that you're dealing with real people's lives. But they're told in such a way that is so thrilling. I mean, the danger is <laughs> when you're dealing with someone like the rogues, you kind of end up rooting for them because their skins are so with John Darwin. You're like, it would be quite cool if he did get away with this. I mean, not for his kids, obviously, but like for everyone else. Yeah. Well, well, I'd love it. There's a new uh, mini series out this week, actually, and it's called The Canoe Man. Could you just tell us a little bit about this? Because I, I think a lot of people listening out there will sort of remember this story of kind of the the canoe story but just set the scene for us what can we expect this is one this of the case? most bonkers ones i think that we've ever done right this is the story of john darwin who was in big financial difficulty um but i think had a kind of taste for being uh, an affluent guy he had all the trappings of somebody with with money and he in an attempt to save face and i think this is the biggest attempt to save face ever decided that a good way to cover his financial failings was to fake his own death uh, by Absolutely. going out in his canoe um, and so the idea was that he dr drowned at sea and he could claim um, the insurance, his, his life insurance with his wife and Darwin. Um, what then happens is more bonkers than what I've just said if that's if you can believe that. Um, what, one of the bits that we dwell on I would say three times a day <laughs> is that they didn't read the small print of their insurance policy and so um, you actually can't claim unless you have a body so you can't claim for a missing person so that was sort of hurdle one of 7452 um but it's extraordinary it is an extraordinary story but it's like you say it's got these really kind of funny ridiculous details and at its core is a really sad story of a family falling apart so there are sad bits but then it does get very funny again, I'm afraid. Very odd, very funny, and an absolute engaging show. You will be hooked on the show for sure. Uh, well, thank you both so much, and thank we you. cannot wait for the next mini series. Well, thanks, Ruth, and a big thank you to Alice and Matt, too. So, hi, I'm Declan Moore. I'm head of international at Wondery, and it's now been just over six months since we joined the Amazon Music family, and we're in the midst of an explosion in audio creativity that's reshaping how listeners learn, unwind, escape, and engage with all kinds of audio content throughout the day. Our immersive storytelling connects and resonates with audiences. And this year, we were thrilled to have seven podcasts hitting the top 10 UK Apple podcast charts. From the current hit shows, Suspect and Dr. Death Miracle Man, to Spy Affair, The Apology Line, and of course, British Scandal. We will continue to invest in UK originals with the abundance of creative talent here. British Scandal was a thrilling way to start, and we've more great shows that are planned for this winter and on into 2022. With the power of Amazon Music behind us, the premier destination for artists and creators, Wondery will provide even more high-quality content while continuing to expand our global footprint and audiences. Audiences can expect to see more fantastic Amazon original and exclusive shows. Building on the back of three little words, the exciting true crime show Cold and the most downloaded music podcast in the world, Disgraceland with Jake Brennan, in addition to the UK Originals Plus 44, the recently launched Ask Ovi, and next week's launch of a new daily show, Built to Thrive, with the ever popular and respected Dr. Rangan Chatterjee. We're excited to announce that Podfront UK will be growing with us, 
as the exclusive ad representative for Amazon Music Podcasts. Podfront will be able to offer our advertising partners these and many more top titles so you can engage with your audiences in the right context to meet your marketing objectives. And not just in the UK, but across Europe and North America. This partnership not only grows our reach alongside one of the most customer-centric companies in the world, but it also allows us to offer an even greater range of ad solutions for you to grow your brand and activate the right audiences. So, to tell you more about the shows, I'm pleased to hand you over to the Podfront team, Ollie and Charlotte. Thank you. Thanks, Declan. Hello, everyone. It's great to be back at the IAB Podcast Upfronts 2021. I'm Ollie Waters, Head of Sales at uh, Podfront, and I'm also joined with uh, Charlotte Mitchell, one of our account managers. So we're all quite aware that we've been living in a time where everyone's fighting for your attention and getting that attention starts with creating incredible content with the very best production partners. Our podcast network has grown each year to now include Wondery, Stitcher, NBC, NPR, All Things Comedy, and now Amazon Music. With access to over 400 podcasts, many of which are owned and operated by our publishers, meaning we have the flexibility needed to deliver the very best commercial partnerships that can be relied on. Our network brings together some of the very best business, news, politics shows from Freakonomics to Business Wars, How I Built This, and to the incredible reporting of NBC and the fascinating documentaries by Wondery and Stitcher such as Suspect, Unfinished, and The Shrink Next Door. So impressive, in fact, that many go on to become adapted for TV shows like Dirty John or Dr. Death. I'd like to take a few minutes now just to update you on some of the new and existing shows from Podfront. First, we kick off with a brand new podcast from Wondery and Amazon Music, Smartless. Jason Bateman, Sean Hayes and Will Artnick connects and unites people from all walks of life to learn about their shared experiences through thoughtful dialogue and organic hilarity. It's in each episode of Smartlist, uh, one of the hosts reveal a mystery guest such as Ryan Reynolds, Jennifer Anderson, Octavia Spencer and James Corden. Genuinely improvised and authentic conversation filled with laughter and knowledge to feed the Smartlist mind. This isn't just another bunch of celebrities catching up with more celebrities. All three hosts are best friends and there really is something infectious about their chemistry. Operator is the fascinating true story about a groundbreaking telecommunications company, American Telnet, that single-handedly mainstreamed live phone sex into the homes of millions of Americans, grossing over $2 billion in revenue during the industry's heyday in the 90s. The army of phone sex operators fosters a human connection and an empathetic ear to the lonely and repressed. Those operators also help make the company billions. But what did it provide for the operators at the bottom of the hierarchy? Monatomy is a place where well-known men talk honestly and openly about their bodies, from Gary Lineker to Sir Chris Hoy and Stephanie Hurst. It's not about getting thinner or fitter or putting on more muscle. It's about being funny and honest. But here is Danny Wallace to explain more than I can. I'm Danny Wallace and me and my friend Phil Hilton asked ourselves a very important question. The question was, what is the last podcast we would want to appear on as guests? And that podcast is one where we as men have to talk openly and freely about our bodies. So Monatomy is the show where men have the conversations that men traditionally don't seem to have about our chests or our nipples or our fitness or our fatness or our worries or our hang-ups or sometimes our little triumphs. Um, we force all sorts of well-known high-profile men and women from sports and comedy and TV to talk us through their bodies and they're much braver than I am because I would have said no. And it is the first time that Stitcher have got together with a UK team which we are thrilled about and we are honoured about and we will not let them or you or our listeners down. And men write to us every single week to say thank you for talking about heightism or about hair loss. Um, and this is an open and honest chat between men who think the time has come to be honest about how we feel, about how we look. And you will laugh and you will cry 
and you will be part of a weird and awkward human family and we'll all be very good friends by the end and we'll know a lot about each other's nipples so check it out monatomy write it down i will wait monatomy Thank you, Danny. I think we got that. I think we got the picture. Um, anyway, <laughs> Storytime is a weekly podcast from actor and comedian Seth Rogen. Seth asks somebody, do you have a great story to tell? And if so, would you tell me that on my podcast? And that is it. But the results are so much more than that. The tales range from hilarious to heartwarming, to stories about fights with grizzly bears, but they always have great characters, surprises, and the friendly sense of uh, humour that Seth is very well known for. Storytime launched this week. I absolutely love Seth Rogen. Did you know he is actually my weird celebrity crush? True story. Okay, um, <laughs> moving on. Uh, with over 35 million followers across social media, best-selling author and former monk Jay Shetty has a knack for making wisdom go viral. On purpose, sees fascinating conversations with guests like Khloe Kardashian, Alicia Keys and Oprah and Malcolm Gladwell. No wonder the show reached 52 million downloads in its first year alone. Uh, here he is to tell you a bit more about the show. Hey UK IAB 2021 Upfronts, it's Jay Shetty. I am so grateful to be with you. I wish I was back there, back home, but I'm really happy that I get to send you this message. I love creating on purpose. I get to sit down with some of the most incredible minds in the world and the thing that I value the most is my community, my audience, lends me over two hours of their time, lends me their ears for over two hours of their time per week while they're walking their dog, while they're at the gym, while they're editing or cooking. I feel such a personal, intimate connection with each and every person that follows, that's always sharing the podcast on Instagram, on Twitter, and on social media. And I'm just so grateful for what we're building and what we have to come next. We've got some amazing guests, more incredible themes, and an amazing year ahead of us on On Purpose. Podfront UK is delighted to be the exclusive sales representative of Amazon Music Podcasts in the UK, giving brands an opportunity to speak to new audiences in a rapidly growing media platform. From Three Little Words by John Bishop to the Health and Wellbeing podcast by Dr. Rangan Chatterjee and the Love Island contestant who won us all over, Ovi's relationship show, Ask Ovi. One show in particular that I wanted to share from Amazon Music is the Plus 44 podcast. The Plus 44 podcast will see cultural commentators ZZ Mills and David Sideman Whiteley joined by some of the biggest names to tackle some of the hottest issues of the week, from the news headlines to the latest releases across music, film and fashion. With celebrity guest appearances from Beanie Man, Doneo, Dappy and many more, the podcast will provide a platform for guests to add their voices to the latest cultural debates and to join the hosting duo as they celebrate black culture in the UK. Now. The moment you've all been waiting for. He tried to get in earlier on Ruth's uh, little segment there, so I apologise for that. <laughs> but last year he joined us at the Upfronts. He's here again to tell you a bit more about uh, his podcast. It's Jonathan Van Ness from Getting Curious. Hello, UK IAB 2021. I'm Jonathan Van Ness. I'm the host of Getting Curious, and I'm so excited that you're here. I'm so excited that I'm virtually here. And a little bit about Getting Curious. This is a weekly exploration podcast where I interview experts about all sorts of things that I'm curious about. From astronomy to astrology, there's a difference. Uh, learn that on the podcast. To politics, to environment, science, history, pop culture, everything. There's no bounds to my curiosity. I have gotten to interview literal national heroes such as Nancy Burt Whistle, winner of Great British Baking Challenge, which I think is a different name in the UK, but whatever. Louis Asquith, who is an incredible trans rights activist. Um, who else have I interviewed? Tom Daly, Olympic champion. Go Tom Daly. I hope y'all take a listen. We love British stuff. I'm also married to a stunning British man, not to name drop at the end of the video, but it's true. I am. Uh, uh, um, but go Britain. Yay. We love the Queen. We love you. Unless you're not a royalist, in which case, sorry about it. And um, I hope you're having a great time. Bye.
<laughs> well, the wonderful Jonathan Van Ness. Uh, thanks very much, Ollie and Charlotte. Some incredible podcasts there from our partners at Stitcher, Wondery and Amazon Music. And do get in touch to find out more about our full content slate. Now, Podfront's mix of premium beloved content, creative and effective ad solutions and measurement tools equips us to truly help you grow your brand. But we are delighted to announce that we've been working this year with a new partner, Podsites, for better attribution around podcast advertising. Podsites connects podcast downloads with on-site activity, giving advertisers unprecedented insights into the effectiveness of their campaign via a simple to use dashboard. Did listeners register? Did they purchase on your website? Did they click to learn more? Did they download your app? We can measure it and provide relevant information for you to make data-driven decisions. Now, not only that, but we're always looking for something new. And at Podfront, we understand the pressure that marketeers face to reach audiences at scale and in a cost-efficient manner. And we are delighted to announce Podfront UK's partnership with AdsWiz to enable our programmatic offering. This integration with AdsWiz SSP AudioMax makes it easier than ever for advertisers to buy our podcast programmatically through a range of DSPs. The partnership also unlocks exciting new capabilities around podcast buying, including the ability to target on a show level, plus enhanced demographic and contextual targeting, ensuring that podcast buys are a good fit and brand safe for advertisers. So we would like to thank all the brands and agencies and everyone who's worked with Podfront to date. We cannot wait for the next part of the journey, bringing more beloved shows to the UK market from local and global talent, partnering with Amazon Music plus our existing equity partners and offering better ad tech solutions to create an ecosystem that's perfect for your brand. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, talk to me about Ryan Reynolds, Jennifer Aniston, James Corden. I mean, they've just all dropped in names that we had dropped in. I mean, there's sort of an incredible slate of stuff that's coming up. What, what, if you had to pick one, what are you most excited about? Oh my gosh, like there's really so many and that is really where we're very lucky, right? To have these partners who have just incredible content coming down. I am actually really looking forward to the Seth Rogen podcast, if I'm to be entirely honest. I think when they said that it was going to be about fighting a grizzly bear, they already had me locked in. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. <laughs> it's easily done. Uh, Ruth, that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much.